these unbelievers like oh my live every day like it's so tight these unbelievers all right guys welcome back to some more hogwarts legacy last time we went on a bit of an adventure with uh sebastian and then we did some magical beast stuff that we have not finished yet so we're gonna continue onward this is awesome it's bigger on the inside look at this it's amazing where are we deke it seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. All right, oh. Guess we just, can we just, we, all, we can only have one of each? Hold on a minute. I'll put. Um, can I put it back? I want to look through them first. I don't know. We can only have one of each. I'm sad. <laughs> What's the point of gathering the others then if we can only have one of each? the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts indeed i only hope we'll have enough space for all of them deke hopes so too but if you do run out of room madam peck at brood and peck in hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them any beasts that the room can't hold yes she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need and she'll give you a fair price for them Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take care of our characters real quick. Um, wait, no, come back. We got the hair. Let's go interact with this one over here. I see some moon standing out in the distance too, so we can collect uh collect that here. Thank you very much. And you. Let's give you some lovin'. This moon calf is adorable. Alright, let's get out of here. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. Is this do. how we upgrade? I'll go and experiment with the loom now. We can finally upgrade our gear? Oh, I'm going to go do that right now. Let's go. Hold on. Remove some later when we capture more magical beasts. Alright. Now we gotta conjure a loom.
Alrighty. Let's see. Go ahead and upgrade our hat and gloves if we can. Very nice. Alright. So we need a lot more stuff to upgrade our stuff. So off screen. Finally I got stuff to do off screen. Off screen I'm going to collect more magical beasts so that I can upgrade more stuff. That came out nicely. Alright. I should show Deke. Let's go show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Let's get out of here. Later. All right, time to take our first astronomy lesson. Whoops. Ally and friend. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. I don't think we've ever seen Perhaps much of astronomy in the series, especially not the the movies. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. This seems like a fun class. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. A Ravenclaw? Hello, sir. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. I got this. There we go. Easy enough. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is what is wrong with him? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Oh, May I guess they're all cold. Didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? Get some thicker skin, Pruitt. Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, no. of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Not very Goblin interested in glass, uh, stargazing. Optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. 
All right. I'll do that, I guess. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Oh, good that. Revelio. What is this? This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ooh, charming school cloak. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. Yeah, Do I guess so. Be wasted. Yeah, I can't remember a single time in uh perfect night for Oh, oh it's an owl. I thought it was one of those statues. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is um something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. No, I'm not going to say that. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No yeah. one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Yeah, let's go. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? No regrets. That's my credo. No regrets. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Well, that's right. Centaurs are astronomers, huh? Well, huh. kind of a mixture it's of astronomers. Nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. Why did we stop? It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Well, it's not creepy. Here I am, charging ahead. It's just a little dangerous. Why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Well, just, I just need to know where to go, and I'm happy to lead the way. Hmm. A little foreboding. Revelio. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Out of the way. I hope that was him. Money. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Probably. Oh, no. There's a Not this close to school, I mean. I think you should do the honors. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Hmm. 20 minutes later. Oh, I was supposed to zoom in. I'm an idiot. There we go. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. Gobbledygook. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I mean, he's a bit of a nerd, but he's cool. He's very nice. 
the next main story quest looks like it's locked. I'm going to see its requirements and then uh, if they're not too egregious, we could probably do it and then start the next main story quest. Alright, so we got to learn Wingardium Leviosa, which we learn after doing um, Professor Garlic's assignments. So I'm going to do that. Uh, probably go to Hogsmeade see if I can find any for sale. If not, I'm probably going to have to... I don't know. If I, if, I, if I figure it out, I'll show you. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright, so this is the, actually the shop that sells what we need here. It's not the magical neep. This is like kind of on the outskirts of Hogsmeade. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Hello. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Yes, ma'am? What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? I didn't buy mandrake oh, root. I'm always thrilled when a young one makes Venomous a wise purchase. Tentacula. I can tell you'll go far. Thank you. Doors always open. You be sure to stop. Nice to see uh, students from other houses. To see you again. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more seeds in here. Why not? Every time I come in here, I can grab some more Dittany leaves. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Right. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of snake. Wish and flick. Wingardium Leviosa. Perfect. Thank you, Professor. Well done. All right, Feel let's go. Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I bet Wingardium Leviosa. Very useful. All right, now let's go. Uh, let's go see Natty, and then probably end out the video there. I'm going on an adventure. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Well, flipendo sounds like it'd be very useful. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. 
It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I got you. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Harlow is here, after all. Yeah, well, Harlow can suck it. Oh, I guess we're not going invisible for this. Hmm. Do we just climb? Yeah. What's that? Revelio. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Perhaps something with a bit of force. There we go. That did it. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Nice. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. Ha! I'm not sure if that's how you were supposed to do it, but I cheated. Rebellion. Well, if I if that's not how you're supposed to do it, I cheated. And I'm fine with that. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. What the hell? Hold on a minute. Can't cast it like this. How the hell am I supposed to move this? Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. I see. Here Must we be go. Another way in. <laughs> that looks as if it might raise the gate. Oh, there's money on the ground. Perfect. Oh, never mind. Not money. A note. Target that! Oh my god. That was irritating. I, will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. I right, go for it, Nettie. You made that look easy. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the beast! That doesn't sound good. A hippogriff. Oh, we're gonna have to kill them. Oh, it's High Wing. Thought it was another one. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Yeah. Agreed? Let's this do it. Chance. Go! Yeah, of course I couldn't get no, in with her. 
There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. And we are going to figure that out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. No matter what, I'm gonna put up a fight Damn right, I gotta survive Moving through the dark, trying to make it to the light Can't be caught slipping, I won't be tempted